Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP ABAP new syntax and we started with a sales order report and in that we will use the new syntaxes. So we have written the open SQL queries by using the new features. We used the inline data declaration and rather than read table, we used the table expression. Now you all know in case of read table, you have a provision for to check the size sub RC. But in table expression, we cannot go for size sub RC. So if this table expression is false, system will throw you runtime error. It is fully, fully explained in the same playlist. You can refer the videos of table expression as a replacement of read table. Now we covered at that point of time, we will go for a statement line exist. So in that case, we can avoid or by using that, we can avoid the runtime error. So how I will use this? Before using this table expression, I will use if line underscore exists. I will simply, simply use this particular condition. And I will simply close this bracket. So what it will, will do if based upon this key, if the line exists after that, only this particular statement will execute else it will not execute. So this is the way how we can avoid the runtime error. An important point is now, now, our data moved into this work area. Our data moved into this work area. Our data moved into this particular work area. Now we need to move it to final work area because this is what we are doing. In the previous cases, what you are doing, you are passing the data one by one to the final work area. Now we all know we have a value expression or value keyword or value operator. Can we use that? Yes, we will simply, simply use that. So how I will use. So we will go for value with hash. Then I will show you value with structure type also. Because you all know whenever you are using hash, you need to define. Suppose I will go for a structure type. I will declare a structure type types begin off. Suppose I am writing LTY underscore output. Now you all know our output has six column. One from VBAK, this four from VBAP and one from MAKT. So I will declare that. I will go to SC11 transaction code and we will copy from there itself. Suppose first column VBELN, that is from VBAK. Now we will go for four columns from VBAP. I'll just go for VBAP. I'll choose VBAP. We have from VBAP, we are going for postnar, data element of postnar. Now we are going for matenar, type matenar. And you all know we have other two columns also, KWMENG and VRKME. I'll just open the requirement itself so that you can understand fully. This is the program. So we took sales order, item number, material number. Now we will go for quantity, unit of measurement, and then we will go for material description. Now here. Now I will go to the table and we will go for now KWMENG. This is your quantity. Type KWMENG. Sorry. 
Now I will go for VRKME, that is your sales unit. Type data element is same. Now third is your MAKTX. So it is from which table? MAKT, sixth column. We require MAKTX. Type data element is same to same. I will end this particular structure. Suppose LTY underscore R. Now I will declare the final work area. Data. LWA underscore output. Type. LTY underscore output. And I will declare the final internal table also. Output internal table. I will explain why we are going for this. And anyways, it is fully, fully explained when we covered value operator. Type table of LTY underscore R. Now, we declare the structure type, work area, and internal table. Now, we will see how we will go for value. Suppose, what is your final work area? LWA underscore output. We declare the explicit data declaration. So data keyword is not required. Now I will go for value operator. Now I am going for hash hash. You all know whenever you are going for hash, you need to use explicit data declaration. This is what I did. Now I will pass the values of the six columns. What is first? VBEN is equal to LWABBAK VBEL. Now we will go for post now. Just see in one line itself, I am passing all the six columns. Yes. Post now is equal to LWABBAP post null. Then we have matena. LWABBAP matena. Then after that, what is the fourth column? KWMENG is equal to LWABBAP KWMENG. Then we will go for VRKME. L W A V B A P V R K M E and what is sixth column? M A K T X. It equal to it is from this work area. L W A M A K T M A K T X. Previously, what you are doing when you don't know the value operator, you are passing one by one to the final work area. LWA output VBELN is equal to LWA VBAK VBELN for VBAP, then you are going for MAKT. Now, with the help of value operator, and we passed everything to this particular work area, and you are using hash, hash system should understand. That's why we did a explicit data declaration. Now your data is in this work area. Can we simply append it to internal table? Yes, we will append it to internal table. So we will write append LWA output to LT underscore output. So we simply simply pass that data to this work area. From this work area, we inserted into this internal table. Now, we should always clear the work area after append. So, now I am clearing the work area. Many times people ask, yes, can we combine these two statements into one statement itself? Yes, you can combine that also. Suppose, rather than passing that data to work area first, then you are appending, you can combine these two lines also. Suppose I'm commenting this. Okay, I'm uncommenting. Firstly, I will copy, then I will comment. 
if you want to combine these two lines into one, how you can write? You can simply write append. These are your values. You can simply, simply append it to internal table. What is your internal table? To LT underscore output. So it is totally your wish how you want to go. Yes, you are going by this way. In this case, what we did? Firstly, I passed the values to the work area. Then I appended. I did two steps. Now in this particular, you did everything in one step. You used append. You are appending the values to this particular internal table. Just see, you are using hash. Hash system should understand. That's why LT underscore output is a explicit data declaration. You cannot go for inline data declaration. Similarly is here also. When I did two steps, value hash, we are using hash system should understand. That's why I did a explicit data declaration. So it is totally your wish how you want to go. You want to go for these two statements or you want to go for this one statement. Suppose I'm commenting this. Now suppose rather than hash, you want to use structure type. You can go for that also. It is totally your wish. Suppose now rather than hash, I'm using LTY underscore output. Have you seen? This is the name of our structure type. This is the name of our structure type. So system will understand that you have six columns. And now here you can use inline data declaration. It is totally your wish how you want to go and it is fully, fully explained when I cover the value operator. I'll just put V here. So we have so many ways. If you are using hash, make a golden rule. System should understand. Then you can go for explicit data declaration. If you are not using hash, you can use structure type or table type. As of now, you see, we are going for one by one record. That's why I use the structure type here. And that why here I use the inline data declaration. So it is totally your wish how you want to go. If I will check the syntax. Okay, it is already declared. I need to comment this part because I explicitly declared also. I'll check the syntax. V R K M E V R K M E. Sorry, I put the wrong name. Okay, I'll check the syntax. Now it is syntactically correct and I will activate. But people are more comfortable in using hash. So we'll prefer that way only. So I will go for hash. Now I will simply, simply use here LWA output will go for explicit data declaration. Now I will just uncomment this. I will go for activate. So what is the summary of this particular video? So many important points covered. So your data is into these work area. Firstly, what we did to avoid the runtime error, we firstly check the line exist condition. If based upon this line is existing, if we are getting a record after that, only this particular, this table expression will execute else it will not execute. Now your datas are into these work areas. VBAK, VBAP, and MAKT, these three work areas. How you will put it to final work area? Previously, what you are doing, you are going for writing this VBAK, mat, VBAK, VBELN, output VBELN. We are going for one by one, we are going for equal to. But now we know value operator, value keyword. So I put value hash and I put all the values of the six column and I passed it to work area. Just remember, if you are going for hash, explicit data declaration is mandatory because system should understand. Now your data is in work area. 
you appended it to internal table. Now, many times people ask rather than these two, can we use a single statement? Yes, you can use a single statement also. But just see if you are going for hash, you need to go for explicit data declaration. Then I showed you rather than hash, if you want to use the structure type, because here we need to go for structure type because we are passing it to work area. We are not passing it to internal table. So that's why I used this particular LWA output. I use the structure type there. Now, after that, we append it to this internal table. In the next video, I will tell you why, why we have not directly passed it to internal table because this is the question is in everyone's mind. Why, why you are passing it to work area and you are using append statement to append it to internal table. Can we do not use directly here the internal table and append and use value operator? That answer we will come in the next video. It's an important point because whenever I will directly use previous data will be overridden. That is not our requirement. Yes. So I will explain that part in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.